welcome to the UK. For the next five days, we're going to be navigating the canals on our very own narrow boat. And we have absolutely zero experience. Ah! What happened? Almost reminds me a little bit of van life with its own quirks and own differences. Uh-oh. Now we want to take you on what a day is like living on a narrow boat because this is like a full lifestyle out here. It feels like I'm taking my canal boat for a walk. Steve, I'm going to go under my first bridge. From slow morning routines to getting food at the pub and learning how to manage a narrow boat. Welcome to a day in our life. Let's work this out together. Let's hit the canal. <laughs> hey everyone, super quickly at around the six to six and a half minute mark, we are doing a giveaway, but enjoy the canal boat video, but make sure you stick till around then. I'll give you all the details about the giveaway. It's a giveaway from us. Enjoy the video, guys. Morning. <laughs> Up once last night. <sighs> he did good. Morning, Hunter. Hunter, will you go click the switch and turn the heater on for me? This is our first morning and it's not raining. Oh, look. <laughs> it's cold. Switching on the engine. Okay, so we can do things like toasters, make coffees for everyone, keep the heater running. Uh, we also need to get it between 10 and 15 revs. Uh, if we push this button in into the uh, power, it means we don't go anywhere. So, yeah. <laughs> Mommy wants a coffee. Mom, okay, let's, should we go make her one? Yes. Have you been making coffee demands, girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can you pull the lid off, please? This one. Uh-oh. It's taking ages. We need to top up with water. We're running out. And then lid on, please. And then we wait for the kettle to sing. Okay. Okay. Put that pillow there, please. I make the bed. There we go. Bed made, Mum. Hey boo. Yeah, morning to you too, huh? So the perks, well, definitely Hunter's big perks about being here on the narrow boat is that we can do Lego whenever because we're on narrow boat time. You like his couch? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe you can hold this flag. Ah! <laughs> what did he do? Movers. Point Shrek. I think this is the first time we've had a sunrise. It's been pouring with the rain. Oh wow, you're right. It's so beautiful today. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good morning today four here on the narrow boats. And I feel like last time you saw us, we were definitely learning the ropes. <laughs> well, we've now really got a groove going. We kind of get what's going on now. I feel like we are what day four pros of the narrow boat. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Cleo, Captain Cleo. <laughs> Cheers to Cleo. Oh, I'm a captain. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Hunter's the captain, Cleo's the co-captain. Sorry about that, Hunter. But yeah, I thought today, seeing as we kind of have the hang of it now, we want to take you on what a day is like living on a narrow boat because we've realized after talking to all these locals, this is like a full lifestyle out here. Some people live full time on the canals in these narrow boats. It almost reminds me a little bit of van life with its own quirks and own differences. Huh? Oh, cheers, cheers. sweet. Cheers. Yeah, I definitely say from 
the extended period of van life we've done, the little bit of vo boat life we've done, I would say this is more like van life than boat life, even though yeah, we are on the water. Definitely. It runs a lot like a... Like a Cooper. Yeah, what like a Cooper. It's got its quirks like Cooper. Yeah, what is it? Well, this one has already got a name. Wait, let me tell you the name. Dartford Warbler. They named them all after different birds here in England. So on the Dartford Warbler, we'll take you on our day. Cheers to a day on the canals. And also we just ran out of milk. I know, How and we've run out milk? of butter. And we're probably gonna run out of water. I like at least three oh, cup of tea yeah. when I'm driving. So, welcome to our kitchen. The issue that we're having at the moment in the kitchen is that this is day four, and we're running low on supplies because we're on the boat for five days. So I think I need to get creative with breakfast. I might have a couple of crumpets left. Oh. Honey crumpets. Hey. We've been a little bit obsessed with tea crumpets. A little quirk about this narrow boat, I'm pretty sure a lot of narrow boats, is that if you want to use anything that's 240 watts, you need to have the boat running like the engine running. So that's if you want to, you know, use the microwave, the kettle, hair straighteners, hair dryer, stuff like that. We've got it on because we thought we were going to run out of power, so we chucked it on to be able to get the heating going. Do you think people from the US know what crumpets are? Are they called crumpets in the US? Well, I think they are a very British thing. I'll show you what crumpets are. They're like these little, I don't even know how to explain it except saying that they're crumpets. They've got little holes in them and they're airy but dense. And yummy. And yummy. Very good with honey on it. Sorry, dude, you're not allowed honey. <laughs> He's wanting crumpet. You're not allowed honey. No honey till you're after one. I wonder if that's a rule in every country. Oh. I know. He, whenever he complains, it always sounds like he's saying mama. <laughs> So, can I say he's five months old and saying mama? Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Hope you're enjoying the canal video. Just a minute, so we're gonna be doing a giveaway. I'll chat about more about that at the end of this little segment, but back in 2020, uh, when we were all at home, we had so many questions from you guys on how we edit our photographs, how we edit our videos for YouTube, and we finally had some time to sit down and we launched our Fly in the Nest shop, and you guys just absolutely blew us away with support. So incredible, we just wanna say a big thank you to you guys. And ever since then, we haven't really done any major updates to the shop. We've just done our biggest launch on our shop since we made the shop three years ago. So if you've ever wanted to take your photos, your travel photos, your home photos, your Disney photos to the next level, Jess has been working so unbelievably hard over the last couple of years to bring out a brand new preset pack called the Wonder Collection. There's so many amazing presets that we've been using to edit our photographs. And if you've never used one before, it's so easy. Everything includes instructions on how to set it up, but it translates transforms your photo so you just do like a one tap and your photos already look amazing and we brought out a pack specifically for mobile just download a free app we also brought out a desktop version so for more professionals if you're using like a mirrorless camera or an SLR like us plus for the very first time brought out mobile video filters They're so easy it's great for your Instagram stories your TikTok videos YouTube videos and we brought out a pack that works on your mobile and also you can use these on your desktop as well for more professional work but we just love easily transforming our videos Jess has been so amazing working on the colors for all of these and there's a pack with over 20 video filters it's the first time we've ever brought them out hope you enjoy that we see the comments so many of you guys are like how do you get to travel so much which we are so unbelievably thankful that we can do this as a family to show you guys these amazing places to hopefully inspire you guys we've been thankful enough to call this our job essentially for the last nine plus years when we decided to pick up a, a vlogging camera in Hawaii all, the, all those years ago back then there was no resources no information no questions you could ask and over the last nine years working with amazing brands like Disney Sony Hilton Qantas all these diff hundreds and hundreds of amazing brands we've learned so much and I put it into a little course there's over 60 videos there's over six hours of content in there it's called our how to get paid to travel course it's a full master class answering every question you could think of we just wanted to say thank you guys so much because it's uh, an amazing way for you to, to show your support uh, for, for making these videos so we wanted to say a big thank you but quickly on to the competition so if you pick up anything in our shop we're gonna be running for the next seven days so if you pick up anything in our shop for the next seven days till the next vlog comes out uh, you will go into an entry so whatever the value of your cart is at the end is how many entries you you get into the competition 
and we've got so many amazing little prizes. One, we will first of all refund whatever you've bought and give you absolutely everything on our shop. Two, we're gonna have five copies of our book, Our Home on Wheels. We can sign it for you, we can make it out to someone, add great Christmas presents, ideas. Anyone picks up anything in the shop during the seven days, we will send you guys a personal video message from myself and from Jess. Maybe the kids will pop in there. We shall see for the next seven days. Finally, we'll be giving away four kind of Zoom chats where we can hang out with you guys and we'll be picking someone from there. So it's a little something for us to give back to you guys for supporting our little family. I hope you enjoy all the new products and uh, yeah, I've chatted too much. Let's jump back to the canal boat. Thank you so much for, for all your support, guys. Enjoy the canal boat video. <laughs> Hi, Captain. He's a set sail. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Uh-oh, oh, no. <laughs> that takes you down. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is just after nine. We've had a super slow morning and yeah, we usually wait until this time so we can just enjoy coffee, family time, and also Koa's down for his nap, which means it's one less kid for us to worry about, but we do quite a complicated morning. Definitely recommend if you're gonna hire a narrow boat, grab one of these, it's the Canal Companion on Welsh waters and also English waters. We've been using this to navigate. So basically every bridge that we've gone under has a letter and a number and that's how we've been working out where we are. And then it gives you a couple little fun facts along the way. That's also how we've been finding where the pubs are <laughs> for our pub meals. But anyway, let's... I didn't say set sail. Let's hit the canal. So we've kind of been mooring up two different ways. One is just some pegs like you would when you're camping with the tent, smack it in as hard as you can, tie it up. But the other one is along the canals, there's these like metal rods we can kind of stick in and tie onto, and then we just tie the boat tight. We've got pretty much two, one in the back, one in the front, and I realize we're drifting out now. So we better go do the other one. We locked ourselves out <laughs> of the front and we're too far away to make the jump. So yeah, if you guys are wondering just how slow we're going, less than a walking pace. We're going very slow. <laughs> Honestly, I'll give it to you, UK. You do get a lot of rain, but when you have a beautiful morning like this where you just need to put a jacket on, it's just so peaceful. Like, look at that. You guys are wondering, it's not just for holiday makers out here. People do actually live in the canal boats full time. When I see these beautiful white cottages, I'm like, when I'm older and I want to retire, just alongside the canals looks so stunning. You got your little duck families living around. It's beautiful. I can see why people would live out here. So there is five of us, which means five of us go through a lot of water. And now we're trying to find where to top up water. And the lady, when she gave us the like 10 minute crash course, Said you should top up a water every time you see a tap. So let's see what it's like topping up water. I think we top it up in the front just here. We've got a hose. We apparently have a key. Let's work this out together. So I'm gonna grab a rope. Feels like I'm taking my canal boat for a walk. <laughs> well, the map was right. I was using my little companion. I wasn't sure if we were gonna start running out of water, and it said that just before Bridge 12W was water, and it was right. So now we're gonna fill up with water. Which we haven't done before, which I'm guessing is here. Yep, you hold it. Good girl, and then that goes in here. And you keep putting it in so you go like this. And then you hold it like this. Really important, okay? Don't worry. Oh, water's coming out. It only really takes four people to fill up a boat with water. Oh, we know when it's full. She just said when it starts overflowing. Yay! We have to go on the boat elevator, Dad. Yeah, you're going to make the water go up, up, up. So we've come to the locks. Last time you saw us, you saw all the locals helping us. We had no idea what we were doing. But I can say now that we're probably pros now. Are you ready to wrench, baby? Yeah. Let's wrench. Alrighty, so what makes this one uh, a little bit more complicated, I'll use, is that there is a sill marker, which is this. Now, Leo needs to make sure that the boat never goes beyond that silver marker. Little butt can't come past this way. And when we rented it, they showed us pictures of what happens and like the boat gets caught or something. Or like it's capsize and whoa, that's a big stick. No calls, don't bother me, I'm out of Slowly. Good hunter. Slowly. And then we stop. Don't want to fall in. And then Cleo comes in. Oh. 
she's a pro. Look at this. Yeah, come help. Okay, stop. So it's our first time doing the box without help, so we didn't even want to do the It's bright today. Captain on deck. I swear, just the last like 72 hours, he's found his voice and loves having a chat. Teacher. <laughs> Am I the teacher? Yay, yay, my teacher is here. <laughs> Each morning when um, Cole wakes up, Stephen and Claire have just been like playing with him up on the deck. And Hunter and I have been doing school, haven't we? Yeah. You love it, don't you? So we do it for like an hour in the morning. Mama. I found these like books. I oh, know, I just went to a bookshop and they kind of had worksheets for three year olds, and Hunter's been loving them. I am three years old. You are three years old. Oh my goodness, you've already done so many of them. What have you been doing? Finding the pictures. What else have you been doing? Learning about her numbers. What number is that one? What three. Is that? Three. Good I'm work. three. You are three. So, how's school gone? I did a small little, I did a circle and a big turtle. That's right. <laughs> a is for apple. A, a, apple. A is for apple. A, a, apple. Guess what, Dad? She wrote the letter. A, 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 for apple, it's an A. This is so good. What's the next letter? Let's see if you know it. B. B. For bear. Mr. Bean is hungry. Look at this. We've made rocket ships out of our shapes. Wow. That's lunch, breakfast, and third breakfast. There you go. There's my eyes. Thank you for the captain. It's been super helpful having Cleo here on a trip like this. It just means we can tag team. So it definitely would have been a lot more complicated. Mm -hmm. Do you like having your auntie here? It's been good. After four days, we've now decided we are the um, owners of the canals and we're the ones getting annoyed at people. Day one, everyone was annoyed at us. It yeah. feels right. it tight. Squeeze. Yes, Cleo. Well, and then it bends again. Are you kidding? I can't get over how long we are. <laughs> Beautiful, Cleo. That was amazing. Can I? Okay, this. Okay, so by the way, Cleo is teaching me how to drive. We just needed to get out of the hard bit. But can I please show you? This is what Stephen looks like. Driving the boat. It's because you you just like are born to be on the water. <laughs> As you see, once this bend, I'm gonna have a go. Okay. So I'm guessing we. You want to go that way? Yeah, you go in this bring way. Bring it this way. How much have you been pulling like that? A little bit. And then go back to the middle. Yep. Oh, it's a bridge. Jess's first bridge. A bridge, baby. Steve, I'm gonna go onto my first bridge. <laughs> Hold your hands. Hold yourself. I think I've got the hang of it. Oh no, Jess, you're gonna do it. Here I am teasing Steven. I'm <sighs> just as bad. Well, well, well. <laughs> Who's driving? Oh, and this cow's crossing the bridge. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Hey, buddy. One perk about doing the canal boats here in the UK is it means that if you are running low on supplies, on every corner there seems to be a pub. So uh, we've moored up. We're having a pub lunch today. Mm, I'll show you how to play. So everyone grab seven pieces of domino. Cleo might have a pudding to put on the end of your pudding. Ooh. Hey, hey. 
you just forget how cozy they are. Like, I feel like, do we have like cozy restaurants in Australia? It's too hot for cozy like, restaurants. You know it's cozy if Mr. Moo's fallen asleep. Oh yeah, baby. You know don't like the new news. Only Hunter likes those new news. Lasagna. Mm. New news. Mm. Cannelloni. Risotto. Mm. It's like we've gone out for Italian at a pub. <laughs> right, I think we should cheers over to some garlic bread. Cheers to a successful week. We didn't sink. Mm -hmm. We didn't hit anyone except for that one time. <laughs> cheers, everyone. It's really hot. It means you have to blow on it. Right, at this rate, so we're spending basically a month in the UK and I'm going to be rating every sticky toffee pudding that I have. So far, I guess the other nights was number one. See if this one's better or worse. It's really hot. The other one was better. <gasps> also, good thing we have a wedding in two days time, don't they say? Lead up to a wedding, sticky toffee a day. Mm -hmm. In my wedding today. It's your wedding today? You're going to fit yeah. my dress. Oh, Oh, you have to tell everyone. Who are you going to be at the wedding? A flower girl. You're going to be the flower girl. Everyone needs context of what we're talking about. <laughs> My cousin is getting married in a couple of days. That's why we're all the way out in the UK. We came a bit early. We're doing the narrow boat. And, and then Hunter's going to be a flower girl. Yeah. So before we hit back on the canals, we thought we would actually show you a little tour of our boat. Pretty cool. So this here is a narrow boat. I think we actually have the longest narrow boat that you can get. And I'm only guessing that because we only just fit the locks. This is a three bedroom boat and we hired it with ABC Boat Hire. Come on over. We can start at the back. So this is our boat. It's called the Dartford Warbler. And I think all the ABC boats are named after different birds. We've seen a lot. I think they hire like there's another 30 boats that you can hire from. Yep, they're the crazy people that will just give you the keys and say enjoy your holiday. <laughs> they did give us a 30 minute crash course and there is a DVD inside with information on there that we probably should have watched, but we never did. <laughs> Instead of it, we're like, oh, the TV's got a DVD player. I wonder if we can buy any DVDs. It's not 2008. We couldn't find any DVDs at the local shop. But come on in. So this here is the back of the boat and this is where we steer. So you probably have seen Cleo at the helm, sometimes Steven at the helm. I'm glad I'm the one sharing that bit. <laughs> and then coming through, you're gonna see how long and narrow these boats actually are. Are you ready? So come on down. I love how here is our um, map and tea station with some old tea mugs here from this morning. Come on in. And then this is where all our wet weather gear is stored. So you can easily grab it if it does start raining. But coming through, this is the first bedroom. This is Cleo's bedroom. And she's lucky because she has a little TV in here. And here is the inverter stuff. So this is where it tells us like what the battery levels are like, where you turn the heating on and all that jazz. And again, as you come through, you'll see there's a bunch of little spots where there is storage. So here's her bed. Welcome to my narrow crib. How's your bed been? Good. Thumbs up. Come on through. See, look how narrow this is. Do -do -do -do. So coming in here, we have the first bathroom. I'll open it up and you can give them a little look. So we've got a toilet, a sink, and a shower. Come on in. Oh, and a heated towel rack. This is clear as one. And then you keep on coming. I think it's quite clever too, because you can actually close the doors if you want a bit of privacy, which is awesome. And then coming through here, this is mine and Koa's room. So in the daytime, I've just set up his travel cot here and he's been sleeping in here. And then at night, he's kind of been sleeping with me. I'm making sure he's been warm. Come on in, come on in. I feel like I need to show them what a cupboard looks like. I've got a cupboard, which I think is cool because this is a cupboard. Claire's been using this one, but it's also a door. Oh wait, no, it's this one. <laughs> My cupboard is also a door. I just think it's really clever the way they've like worked it all out. See, so there's a cupboard here and then coming through the third bedroom. So this is where Stephen and Hunter have been sleeping. And again, there's all storage here. Oh, there's even storage under the beds, by the way. There's all storage in here. So we've been able to fully unpack, which has been lovely. I also like this section that you've got. So sometimes we open it up, we want some fresh air. So so there's a whole little hatchet. I'm guessing it's also maybe like an escape route if you hit too many boats, Stephen. All right, coming through. Oh, and also there's heating in every single room. So there's this, um, what do they call that, radiator? All through the boat. So in the winter, you can stay nice and warm. Still going through. And we don't just have one bathroom. We have two bathrooms. So this has been our bathroom here. Let me show them. It looks just like Hunter's. I mean, it looks like just like Cleo's bathroom. And then we make it into the kitchen. So this is where we've been cooking all our meals. We have a little gas stove and oven, a sink area, cupboards full of food, but then also you've got your plates and stuff. Little cupboard in here with our uh, glassware, which is kind of cool because I feel like when you've done boats before and even vans, you can't really have glassware. But here on the narrow boats, like the canals, they're not wavy or anything. Here's a fridge. 
We've got a microwave, toaster, lots of biscuits for some reason. We got excited on the biscuits, our coffee making and tea making station. And then through here is where we're meant to be eating, I guess, and lounging Mom, out. Mommy, look at my silly faces. I love your silly faces. But as you can see, this has become Hunter's kind of play area where she's been hanging out a lot of the time. So yes, and then also here turns into another seat so you can actually fit everyone. So I feel like, yeah, this is like a six person. Oh, and this can turn into a bed. Oh yeah, this can turn into a bed. So you could have up to eight people. Yeah. It would feel pretty snug with eight, I think though. I think you push this down and this turns into a bed. They didn't show us how, that's pretty cool, huh? When we have, like when we've got signal, we actually have TV in here, which is kind of cool. Got DVD and then the back. Let me show you the back. This is probably my favorite part of the boat. This is where I've been hanging out a lot when we've been um, cruising along the canals. See, I love this section. So there's like seating here. I'm pretty sure underneath there's a table that you can attach into a table so you could sit out here and have your, why didn't we do that today? It was a sunny day. You can sit out here, set up a table and have your morning coffee. And that's about it. Back at the marina. We're back at the marina, that is the end of our... How sad! Me! I'm sad. Do you know why I'm sad? Yes. Because we're back at the marina and that means that tomorrow we have to say goodbye to our narrow boat. Are you going to miss it? Yeah. You liked living here, didn't you? Yeah. You know, yesterday she came over to me she goes, Mum, I want to live in the boat forever. Oh. We live here forever. So cute. Yes. We're back at the marina. It also means that we're near a town so we can go get supplies to cook dinner and I guess enjoy our final night here on the boat. We don't need to check out till 9 a.m. tomorrow so we're taking in every last narrow boat juices. <laughs> <laughs> we're taking in all the juices. <laughs> um, let's go to, to Tesco. <laughs> We just went to the shops to go get supplies. We're making tacos. Come back. What's Cleo introduced Hunter to? This is fruit ninja. This is fruit ninja. Do you know Hunter? When we were little, and I played fruit ninja, I didn't play with my fingers. I had to play like this. Oh, <laughs> and then I remember when the dragon fruit would be at the end of it. We're all gonna cry. And an onion in a small plate. This is fun cooking in here. It feels like I'm cooking in the van. Taco night! Woohoo! Taco! Where? I want my have tomato sauce in it. You want tomato sauce in it? It's called salsa. Hmm, my favourite bit of the trip when I successfully went through that bridge today. What? Didn't I almost get like die? <laughs> we almost got decapitated. Is that the word? My what? <laughs> decapitated? Yeah, decapitated. Oh, my favorite is going on the trip, going in the cave. You like going in the cave? That was really. Oh, in the fast. really long tunnel. Yes. That was really. My favorite bit is how I never stressed out once the entire trip. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite bit was having Cleo there to save the day. <laughs> I'm trying to turn it around. <laughs> oh, and you guys can let us know what your favorite bit is. Hope you enjoyed this little two-part series. We'll see you guys next week. You have cheese on your nose. Oh, do I? Cheese on that. Yeah. See you guys. Signing off from Captain Hunt.